Here is the solution for the population growth problem. Question is, a town's population grows at a rate that is proportional to the population at that point in time. The constant of proportionality is 0 0.0075. Approximately, in how many years will a population of 40,000 grow to 44,000? Now it is important to note when the growth rate is proportional to the population at that time, in that case we know it is an exponential function, right? And this function can be written as y equals to c times e to the power of kt. So that is how we can find that this is the function which is going to represent the reason being if you do y dash what do you get y dash of this function is k times the first k times the function itself that means k times c times e to the power of kt right i mean kt this could be written as k times y you see so the growth rate is proportional to the population itself so that is the function which we are considering. Now let's find the equation of this function first and then we'll find the derivative. Now the constant of proportionality is 0 0.0075 that means k is 0 0.0075. Approximately in how many years will the population of 40,000 grow to 44,000? So we are given the value of c and y, right? Let's place these values and find t, right? So y is 44,000, we write 44,000 equals to 40,000 e to the power of k which is 0 0.0075 t. That is the equation. Now to find the value of t, we can just divide this by, so we, what we get is 44,000 divided by 40,000 equals to e to the power of 0 0.0075 t. So we can take ln on both sides. So ln, this simplifies to, let me write this as divided by 4, which is 11 over 10, equals to, when we take ln here, we get 0 0.0 0, 0.075 t and therefore we can find t from here so t is equals to let's go this side ln 11 over 10 divided by 0 0.0075 and let's use calculator to find this answer so when you do ln of 11 over 10 divided by 0 0.0075 what do you get? You get approximately 12.7. So this is approximated to 13 and therefore our answer is C which is 13 years. right? So that is how we can get answer for this question. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.